I'm gonna bait this box in 8 hours. Let's start now with the undercoat. I just spent more than an hour priming because I am an idiot. I used the wrong primer. It's the gloss black and I'm used to black. I fixed the problem and now let's move on to the next step. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me, I'll smile That's for sure. I've just finished my lunch and now I'm gonna finish the red. The airbrush is done, it's now time to clean. But before, let's remove the masking tape. Now it's time to base coat all the details in black. I base coated the black, painted some details and some highlights. I have a bit more than an hour left. I need to hurry up because I want to do something cool on the farce here. It's been 8 hours, so from now on, this video becomes a no sleep challenge. It's my video, I can do what I want. Even change the title right now. I have almost reached 10 hours of painting and I'm pretty close to finish everything off. I just need to finalize the bases. So I'm gonna do that and here is the reveal. You may notice that most of the miniatures have white on them. That's because I messed up with the varnish step. Let me explain. 
I finished the army at 10 p.m. so it was pitch black outside. There was also a lot of wind. And these two things combined are to avoid for good varnish results. But I was tired, didn't want to finish the project the next day, so I tried anyway. After all, I already varnished with wind. It's hard but doable. Same for darkness. But I never did a varnish in the windy darkness. And I shouldn't have. I needed to be really close to the miniature. And when you do that with a GW varnish, it leaves a white veil. You may be asking yourself if it's fixable. It's not. You have two solutions. You strip the paint off completely and redo all the work or you wait four to five years. How do I know that? Because I did the same mistake on this mini, but even worse. It was almost white. But with time, it goes back to normal. The worst in this story is that I could have done the varnish with my airbrush. But my laziness told me that installing the airbrush box and making the varnish with the airbrush was harder than just using a spray can. So in the end, my advice for you would be don't be lazy and be aware of the condition that may delay you of doing something. It will prevent you to ruin your project. Please subscribe. Bye.